Good morning. Suffrages begin on page 328. Contemporary theologian Scott Bader Say has written, Following Jesus will mean surrendering the power that masquerades as security in order to love the neighbor and welcome the stranger. It will mean avoiding the safe path in order to pursue the good. But in a culture of fear, we find such risks all the more difficult since our natural inclinations lead us to close in on ourselves when we face danger. How can we maintain the posture of the open hand toward a world that scares us? And a reading from Exodus. The Lord said to Aaron, Go into the wilderness to meet Moses. So he went, and he met him at the mountain of God and kissed him. Moses told Aaron all the words of the Lord with which he had sent him, and all the signs with which he had charged him. Then Moses and Aaron went and assembled all the elders of the Israelites. Aaron spoke all the words that the Lord had spoken to Moses and performed the signs in the sight of the people. The people believed, and when they heard that the Lord had given heed to the Israelites and that he had seen their misery, they bowed down and worshipped. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Every day will I bless you and praise your name for ever and ever. Awesome things will you show us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation, O hope of all the ends of the earth and of the seas that are far away. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless God's holy name. You redeem my life from the grave, and crown me with mercy and steadfast love. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray.
God of compassion, you have opened the way for us and brought us to yourself. Pour your love into our hearts that, overflowing with joy, we may freely share the blessings of your realm and faithfully proclaim the good news of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Eternal God, amid all the turmoil and changes of the world, your steadfast love and your strength never fail. In this time of danger and trouble, be to us a sure guardian and rock of defense. Guide the leaders of our nation with your wisdom, comfort those in distress, and grant us courage and hope to face the future. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Lord of all, you have declared what is right to seek justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with you. Bless judges and courts, juries and law officers throughout our land. Guard them from retribution and from corruption. Give them the spirit of wisdom that they may perceive the truth and administer the law impartially as instruments of your divine will. We pray in the name of the one who will come to be our judge, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, with wonderful diversity of languages and cultures, you created all people in your image. Free us from prejudice and fear, that we may see your face in the faces of people in this around us, around the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may move every human heart, that the barriers dividing us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease, and that with our divisions healed we might live in justice and peace. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God of compassion, whose Son became poor for our sake, help us to see the face of Christ in those who are poor, and in serving them to serve you. Give us generous hearts, so that those living in poverty may have adequate food, clothing, and shelter. By your Spirit, move us to affirm the dignity of all people and to work for just laws that protect the most vulnerable in society. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Look with mercy, gracious God, upon people everywhere who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Rouse us from our complacency and help us to eliminate cruelty wherever it is found. Strengthen those who seek equality for all. Grant that everyone may enjoy a fair portion of the abundance of the earth, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, your Son called on you to forgive his enemies while he was suffering shame and death. Meet our enemies and us from prejudice to truth. Deliver them and us from hatred, cruelty, and revenge. And in your good time, enable us all to stand reconciled before you, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. You alone secure us in our place, O Lord, in our going out and coming in. Deliver us from fear, that we may by your Spirit's power let down our defenses in love. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. And Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And the peace of Christ be with you always. Thank you for praying with me this morning. If you'd like to know more about the church that I pastor and me, or if you'd like to support our ministry, you can find that information in the description below. We pray three times a day, morning, evening, and night, and I hope you'll join us again. Until then, God bless.